June, and I'm here in San Jose, Japantown. Come on with me and I'll give you a tour of where Nikkei Matsuri will be in a couple weeks. This year we have a record high of community and vendor booths, so we had to extend all the way out to down the middle of 5th Street. And this is where we're going to add a Hawaiian band stage. That's new. And then over here, another new thing is we're going to have a make and take area. This is going to be full of eight booths of different organizations who are going to have projects, hands-on projects. We're going to have someone teaching how to do a tea ceremony. So it'll be a great fun for you. Get great fun for everybody. <laughs> so I'm on the corner of Fourth and Jackson, and at the end of this street, we're going to have the Boombox, which is more of a contemporary J-pop band where a lot of people can dance and just have a good time. So here in the middle of Fifth Street, we're going to have our main stage, and I'll have the traditional Wesley Jazz Band, Chidori Band, um, and we're going to close out with Taiko, San Jose Taiko. Next to that, we have the Annex, and here we have our exhibits, the Ikebana, dolls, um, bonsai, and then we also have an indoor stage, which will have uh, demonstrations with different martial arts and dance, and actually a sword, a sword presentation. And then beyond that, we'll have in a scalping area, we'll have Japanese, different Japanese um, organizations that will have a fundraiser with food that goes from Nikkei dogs to Imagawa yaki, and you might be surprised with what great taste you'll have. So here in the church parking lot, we will have four food trucks just alongside of the parking lot, and then we will have a beer sake booth. I'm wearing last year's logo for Nikkei Matsuri, and this year we're really excited to have Sumo Fish do our logo. So parking is going to be really difficult around the area because we have UI Kai's Fun Run that you can sign up for. Um, but if you go online at www.nikkeimatsuri.org, you can find out information about our shuttles that we have. Also, we have the Bike Coalition that will be babysitting your bike sitting your bike um, and so right on down here and we'll have a little cage for them to watch your bike. Nikkei Mat City will be on April 21st from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. at San Jose's Japantown. If you would like more information please visit www.nikkeimatsuri.org. So we're really excited to be celebrating our 40th anniversary, so we wanted to do a couple of things special. Um, the main thing is we thought we needed a logo, so we, we put, did a contest. We got over 120 entries for the logo, and so we've got a great logo for our 40th anniversary. We're gonna, and then we're always doing new things at our festival, and we're always trying to improve, and some of the things we wanted to focus on, especially post-pandemic, we always get the comment that there's not enough food. So we're gonna have two food areas this year. So we're gonna have one behind the Quinlan Center, which is behind you over here, if you could see. And those are gonna be the food booths. And those are mostly done by nonprofit organizations. Um, lots of different fun, fun foods, you know, yakisoba and spam musubi. And then over at the Senior Center, which we convert into what we call the Japanese Pavilion for the festival, we're gonna have food trucks. And the other thing is parking because it is a really large festival. So this year, De Anza College very kindly offers us free parking. And we've always said lots A and B. This year they said, you can have park anywhere for free. So please don't let it stop you from coming if you don't think there's gonna be parking because they're even gonna give us the entire Flint Center parking. Uh, yes, we, we always try to pick one of our artists to be the featured artist. And this year we're really happy that we chose Satsuma Dojo, the karate, karate dojo. And they are really special to us because they're one of the few performers that have been with us almost since the beginning, like before I've been involved in this. Uh, yeah, so Satsuma Dojo has been part of the Cupertino Cherry Blossom Festival for over 30 years now. I don't remember the exact year we started, but, but I was there <laughs> late 80s or, or very early 90s. Um, so, you know, the featured artist designation this year is really 
very, very, uh, we're very honored to be there. We're, we're honored to be at their Cherry Blossom Festival every year. We're happy that they have us and we like performing for them. They always have a great crowd and the, the, uh, the Cherry Blossom committee and the team, they're just always very accommodating with a lot of hospitality. And this year we're really happy because we'll be resuming our student exchange program. So we weren't able to do it through the pandemic and so this, this will mark the return of the student exchange program. So we're going to be introducing all the students on stage, um, so that will be really fun. Cupertino Toyokawa Sister Cities Incorporated is proud to present the 40th annual Cherry Blossom Festival on Saturday and Sunday, April 27th and 28th, 2024 at Cupertino Memorials Park, the Quinlan Center and the Senior Center. This fun family festival honors Cupertino's sister city relationship with Toyokawa Japan, sharing Japanese arts and culture with the entire community. The hours will be from 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Admission is free, entertainment is free, and parking is free at De Anza College and the Flint Center parking structure.